And we welcome you back to the Brennick Channel. More rain for Lake Mead. That is the subject today. And we are going to start right out at windy.com. Not going to waste your time. Here we go. This right here is good news coming for the lake. In the next five days, they're calling for one inch of precipitation. And especially down here by Flagstaff, they're calling for almost two inches. And then we go to the 10 day forecast and almost four inches all the way to two inches all the way up here. And up here at the Colorado up here by Vail and Aspen, another two inches of precipitation. And down here by Telluride, another two inches. So this is widespread precipitation that's possibly coming to the lake in the next few days. Here we go to the European model in the five day. And you can see that there's going to be a nice swath of precipitation widespread so this is definitely going to help vegas could get in on the action possibly lake mead will be in on the action not so much for lake pal we go over here to lake pal on the european you can see that it's still real good precipitation this is all within the colorado realm of possibility so we will see what ultimately ends up happening let's go out to the lakes real quick and see what's going on at the lake and we go look at the graph that everybody asked about. The blue is this year. 2021 is the white that was last year. And then we go to your storage acre feet. Storage acre feet is 7,081,000 acre feet. And then we go to the level. The level is 187.41 feet below full pool of 1,229. And then we go to the graph. And you can always see that your full pool levels 1,229. And the level in 2020 on this date was 1,084.35. Last year's level was 1,067.96. And today's level is 1,041.59. And today is August 10th. In case anybody was wondering, it's a Wednesday, 2022. And your inactive pool is always 950. And then we go to your dead pool level, 895. The level is down 26.37 feet from one year ago. The level is down 41.01 feet from two years ago. The level is currently 91.59 feet from power loss and an active pool. And then the level is 146.59 feet from dead pool. So keep that in mind as well. And then we go to your inflows and your outflows and your current inflows are 10,387. And we're gonna remember these are always a day behind. So just keep that in mind. And your outflows are 9,910. And yesterday the lake was up 0 0.03. And, and today, however, the lake is down 0 0.06. So I guess those outflows have increased more than the inflows. Who knows what the inflows are? We won't know that until tomorrow. And just remember this weekend, I'll be doing a Colorado River update on the entire system, including Lake Powell, Lake Mojave, Lake Havasu, the whole nine yards. Probably Sunday. I'm busy, really busy this week. Maybe Friday night. We'll just have to wait and see if I can get it done then. Now we go over to Lake Mead and see what the current weather situation is. And you can see that it's going to be partly sunny today with the Lake Mead temperature is 83 degrees. That's your lake water temperature and that's the current water temperature. And then air temperature is 81 degrees currently and your winds are south southeast at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Then we go to percentage of capacity and you can see it's in the red until it gets up to 50% and then it'll be at a different level. And it's 27.38% of capacity. A high around 99 today and a low around 81. And good news for the lake in the last four 14 measurements the lake is up 0 0.87 in the last 14 so that is fantastic news and that is all i have for today i hope you enjoyed the forecast it's really really good it's really good positive and hopefully this comes to pass we really need more precipitation maybe this will be the start of a really good uptick in precipitation overall we will wait and see if you like this content there's more right here check it out and also we will see you on the next one god bless